Question 7. Topic Time of Supply Are advances received for supplies taxable at the time of receipt of money or raising of tax invoice? To answer this question, first we should examine whether the supply is with respect to services or goods. If it is with respect to services, then tax needs to be discharged at the time of receipt of money itself. However, if it is up to rupees 1000, then option is given to the supplier to either discharge at the time of receipt of money or at the time of raising of invoice. In the instance where the supply is of goods and an advance is received, we need to examine whether the registered person has registered under the regular scheme or under the composition scheme. If he is registered under the regular scheme, then even though advance is received, tax can be discharged at the time of raising of invoice. Alternatively, if it is the composition registered person, then at the time of receipt of money itself, tax needs to be discharged, uh, of course subject to this exception of 1000 as explained. Let us examine section 13 subsection 2 which talks about the time of supply of services. Here it is clearly spelt out that raising of invoice or the date of receipt of payment, whichever is earlier needs to be reckoned. Of course that proviso provides for the 1000 limit where supplier gets an option. Similarly if we examine section 2, 12 subsection 2 which talks about time of supply with respect to goods. Again here also it is mentioned about the date of issue of invoice or the date on which supplier receives the payment subject to that 1000 rupees limit where option is provided. But this provision has to be read with this notification 66 part 2017 issued on 15th November 2017. Prior to this issue of notification even with respect to goods advances if any received then tax was required to be discharged on that advance money received. However, post the issue of this notification with respect to goods, if only if is a composition registered person, then amount uh, the tax needs to be discharged on the advance amount received. But in case of regular registered person, this notification provides that time of supply shall be at the time of raising of the invoice itself. Let us take a couple of illustrations to understand this better. Quick services and companies engaged in providing software services, they have received a project for web app development. An advance of rupees 1 lakh has been received in the month of May and services are provided and completed in the month of July. An invoice of rupees 3 lakhs has been raised in the month of July. Now with respect to this advance received of 1 lakh rupees, since it is a services which has been provided, GST needs to be discharged in the month of May itself and the balance of 2 lakhs can be discharged in the July month. Uh, of course, you know, recording the entire invoice of 3 lakhs and adjusting this tax which has been already discharged on the advance money. Let us take another illustration with respect to goods. Super packers are engaged in the supply of cartoon boxes. They have received a contract for the supply of cartoon boxes for rupees 3 lakhs. An advance of rupees 1 lakh has been received in the month of May and cartoon boxes have been supplied and dispatched in the month of July and an invoice has been raised for 3 lakh rupees in the month of July. In this case, we have to make presumption whether he is under regular scheme or composition scheme. Let us examine both the possibilities. If super packers are under regular registration scheme, then they need to discharge the uh, tax on the entire 3 lakh rupees in the month of July when they actually dispatch the goods and raise the invoice. Alternatively, if they are under the composition scheme, then the moment they have received the advance that is in the month of May itself to the tune of 1 lakh rupees, they need to discharge the GST. Thank you.